here we are on the road again. Uh, we've got young Zippy to shoe today. Um, I changed my shoeing method about 15 years ago to a more balanced way of shoeing. Uh, I'm just showing you today uh, the fitting of the Equus Performance shoe, uh, which is one of a range of balanced shoes which are available on the market. Um, this is probably the best in the world, which is why I use it. The advantage of this shoeing method means that when the horse moves forward, he wears the toe off exactly to where he wants. So you can see I can put my fingers under here. Whereas if you had a rim shoe, after six weeks of shoeing, the toe would be here. So with this shoeing method, it maintains the front to back balance of the hoof. And you can see that there's no, I've, I've not rasped this front wall at all. This is, this is just natural, it's the natural shape of the hoof. And because of the way the conformation of this horse, he would typically have quite a, a spread low, uh, you know, conca uh, concave wall. But with this shoeing method, the wall can grow down parallel to the pedal bone. As you can see, I instruct the owners not to pick the feet out because the shoe, as you can see, comes across the sole here and the dirt will compact underneath the shoe. Okay, so even though this horse hasn't had his feet picked out for six weeks, when I do pick the foot out, you can see that we've got a very dry, functional sole. Weight, because it's been weight carrying, the dirt has compacted in the bilateral sulcus of the frog, so it means the frog, as it expands, is doing the job it's, it was designed to do. Okay, I've just removed the shoe, and you can see how the dirt is compacted underneath the, the broad seated out area of the shoe here, and it leaves a very see that dirt there and that's what the sole is now working on which is a, a, a very soft comfortable surface to work on and it because the sole has been functioning correctly you can see that it's built up to this very uh, strong robust structure as it should be and unlike conventional shoeing when I come to shoe because the toe is pretty much worn off to where the horse requires it I've got virtually nothing to take off of the toe with my cutters. All the growth is, is in the heel area. So the hoof hasn't all moved forward. It, yes, we've got vertical growth, but the toe length has stayed um, relatively short. Okay, um, unlike conventional shoes, because the breakover is in the correct point here, this shoe is designed to wear at the toe. So many shoes, if they were that worn at the toe, we'd have to throw the shoe away. This shoe has minimal wear on the rest of the shoe and in general I find that I reset my shoes maybe two or three times uh, before we need to renew them. So I just simply clean the nail holes out, just using an old nail and we're ready to refit the shoe. I've already prepared the foot. There is a unique hoof preparation uh, involved with this shoeing method which um, if you come on one of our training days, you can learn this. So I simply place the shoe, cold and without adjustment, using the foot mapping, which uh, we teach on our course. And here we are, ready to nail on. Simply placing the shoe without adjustment, in precisely the correct position to give the correct breakover. Fantastic support at the heels, allowing the frog, the sole, and the wall, all to work as one weight-carrying, shock-absorbing part. And if you wonder what the clucking is, I've got some chick filming me. <laughs> okay, so I've nailed on. I'm just going to trim the excess foot off with my cutters, taking it off 90 degrees to the dorsal wall. We don't cater for any flares or deformities in the foot, so now the foot has exactly the correct balance. Bench up as normal. Okay, so I've just nailed on, finished the job, clenched up. And this one, as you can see, I've just shod, um, just rounded this off, this minimal rasping of the front wall. I don't have to rasp all this because it grows at the correct angle. But if you look at this one, the distance between hairline and road is the same as the one I've just shod. So it means that the front to back balance of the hoop is maintained throughout the shoeing period. As I say, if this had a rim shoe on, his toe would be here now. So this has got to be a major advantage for the horse 
to have one to have the correct breakover, but to have it maintained throughout the time of shoeing. Again, uh, to order this product, you can buy it from your local dealer or come direct to us to hoofsolutions.co.uk. But if you look on our website here, you will find your local dealer, which will be the best place to get it because you won't need to pay postage and package then. See you later.